Hello guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I post all kinds of videos on this channel, languages, books, traveling, vlogs, basically everything about my life. And in today's video, I have my fall TBR for you guys. So for two years almost, I've been doing a TBR circus, which is a game I came up with and there's a bunch of rules there is like different genres so every color corresponds to a certain genre and then i draw a challenge card and have to match the challenge to the genre that i step on and there's a bunch of other rules so i will leave the playlist of these videos down below but this time i'm actually not doing my monthly tbr i'm doing a seasonal tbr i decided that i'm gonna be doing seasonal tbrs from now on for a little bit because i'm not reading as much anymore unfortunately and seasonal tbr is a lot more stress relieving for me and i don't have to stress so much that oh i have to read five or six books this month but it's not possible because I'm so busy and so exhausted all the time. So reading five to 10 books every season is my new life basically. So yeah, let's go to roll number one and see what I have to read for fall. Roll number one is six. blue blank and the challenge is water roll number one was blue blank and the challenge was water and for this one i am going to be reading the edge of summer by erica george so not only this has water on the cover it also has a whale fin which is a creature of water and it's also about marine biology so this is a story about coriander and her best friend ella who have always dreamed of saving whales but then tragedy strikes and i suppose something happens to ella that leaves coriander alone and now she's the one that has to finish and accomplish all of the things on the list that they created to do before college and it includes a marine biology internship near ocean and i think it's gonna be an amazing book i can't wait to dive deeper into it and yeah let's go to roll number two roll number two is seven green middle grade and the challenge is set in a country you haven't been roll number two was green middle grade and the challenge was a book set in a country you haven't been before and for this one i am choosing 365 days to alaska by kathy carr so this is a story about 11 year old rigel rigel who lives in off-grid alaska and she loves her life she loves being so close to the nature she doesn't even care of not having electricity and all of the facilities and after her parents divorce she her sisters and their mom is moving to Connecticut and that's obviously not her thing she doesn't want to do that and the only thing that keeping her alive is a secret pact she made with her father that says if you stick to Connecticut for a year I will bring you back to Alaska so I think it's gonna be a super fun story I love books set in Alaska I just I just love them so much I don't know why and so I have very high expectations for this one to be honest so let's go to roll number three and see what else I have to read this Roll number three is, of course, a double, and it's two. And the challenge is 
light cover. Role number three was pink YA contemporary or romance and the challenge was light cover and for this one I am choosing Zyla and Kai by Christina Forrest. I've read one other Christina Forrest book and I've absolutely loved it so I am really excited to read this one. So this is a story about Zyla and Kai who go on this cool trip to Poconos mountains and they run away and everybody is super shocked because Zyla and Kai were dating but then they broke up a couple months ago and yeah now they just suddenly run away and nobody is understanding what's going on I hope they get back together I'm, I'm pretty sure they get back together or they are secretly dating so we will see so let's go to roll number four roll number four is five Another green middle grade and the challenge is high expectations. Roll number four was green middle grade and the challenge is high expectations and for this one I am choosing CC Rios and the Desert of Souls by Kyla Rivera. I have very high expectations for this book mainly because of the cover to be honest but yeah this is a book about Cecilia who lives in this town called Tierra del Sol and this is not the safest town, especially during the Creaturas months, something like that. So basically, uh, there are these powerful spirits that everybody calls Creaturas that roam around and suddenly one day one of the spirits uh, kidnaps her sister Juana and so Cecilia goes on a journey to find her sister and to get her back and that sounds super fun to be honest that sounds like the next Percy Jackson or Harry Potter or something I don't know but yeah I'm really really excited to read this book so let's go to roll number five and see what else I have to read roll number five nine Another blue blank and the challenge is book by an author with the same initials as yours. Roll number five was blue blank and the challenge is book by an author with the same initials as yours and to be honest I did not find any book by an author with the same initials as mine that I would like to read aside from Diary of a Wimpy Kid but I don't want to read that now so instead I'm gonna be breaking rules a little bit and I'm gonna read a book just a book that I want to read that I'm actually currently reading and that is Where the Crowd At Sing by Dahlia Owens so yes I am currently reading this book but I am just a hundred pages in so most of this book will be read in fall so this is a book about Kia who like she was left to survive alone when she was five or six years old basically all her family left and she she just survived and lived in this wilderness and then many years later in 1960s uh, they find this guy's um, chase andrew's uh dead body so somebody has killed him and he is in this swamp and they start suspecting kia but kia is not who everybody thinks she is so i'm really excited to continue on so that is what i'm going to be reading for this challenge and our final role role number six is 11. and we go up and it's blue blank again and the challenge is disability representation and our extra roll roll number six was another blue blank and the challenge was disability rep and in any other circumstance this would give me an extra roll because I have a rule that if I step three times on the same color it gives me extra rolls but I have also come up with a rule that extra rolls cannot give me extra rolls because last year I I was 
I had such a bad month, I think it was June, and I had like 10 or 11 rolls because extra rolls were giving me extra rolls and it was, it was madness. So I came up with this rule that extra rolls cannot give me extra rolls even if I roll a double and even if I step on the same color for a third time. So yes, the challenge was this ability wrap as I said and for this one I am choosing a list of cages by Robin Rowe and to be honest I didn't even know this has disability wrap until I googled books with disability wrap and it showed the book on the list and so this is a book about Adam who has ADHD and on one of his sessions with his doctors, the doctor asks him to find a guy who has been skipping the sessions, who also needs the doctor, but yeah, and then he discovers that the guy is actually his foster brother who ran away or disappeared or whatever five years ago and who has secrets and they start to unravel the secrets and I, I've heard nothing but great things about this book, so I hope it's gonna be amazing! And then there are a few other books that I would like to read, so let's talk about them. So the first one is The Jesus I Never Knew by Philip Yancey. So I got this book relatively recently, a couple weeks ago, and I didn't even know this book existed until I found it in the bookstore. And this is kind of like a non-fiction about God and getting to know Jesus as your friend and not as like this old white man with beard, this like angry guy who like punishes everybody but as your friend and I'm really excited to read this book. And the last book is The Torn Whale by Goshen Esther. This is a story about a Muslim girl who is also disabled and she lives in a Muslim family but one day she discovers Jesus and she becomes Christian and this book is very small and short so I hope I can get through this relatively quickly so yeah that is all for my fall TBR I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon bye